I'm a realist and an optimist, but I swear to you, I'm not getting over this. Uh, hey, we're state champs. We're about to answer your friggin' questions on Beers with the Band. Beers with the Band. Hey, thank you very much for watching. This is Beers with the Band. Today we're with state champs, but we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, this is going to be what a fan. Q&A. Oh man. So I'm not going to be asking yeah. the questions, um, which is going to be good, so you might actually get some really good questions this I, time. I did this a bit ago on like a live radio show, you open up the lines and let people call in and it was the most insane thing ever. Was it terrible? It was hilarious. I, I got some weird questions, like, I, I, especially I, after you guys retweeted it, there were just some people that were saying I had, I had people call in, they were like, what was it like to sell out? Like, was Christmas shopping <laughs> easier and this shit like that? Hey, you're on the air, like, go roast the band. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to start on Facebook. So on Facebook, Facebook, we had somebody by the name of, and I'm going to give them a shout out, um, Oscar Lennon said, what advice would you give to your younger self starting out as a musician? Don't go to college. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I think that would be mine. Uh, I dropped out of college. Yeah. That really wasn't a thing. I would say, you know, maybe go to college, but not, don't go to college for music. Yeah, oh, which, oh. That's what I did. I, I mean, granted, if I music. didn't go to school for music, I wouldn't be in this band, but... I probably would, yeah, it would have been a lot faster. So. I think my advice would just be uh, re re really try, you know, like it's easy to get ahead of yourself when you're young and you're like, you know, want to do all this. You, you, you have like the dream, you know, you want to like, you, you want to be, be the band, you want to do, do the shit, but like make sure like you're doing it right, I guess. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, how, how do you know it's right? I don't know, but like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because it's just like shit will always be there online, like if you post like a like, stupid cover or like if you yeah. do something silly, like whatever. I don't know, I guess maybe that's a little too like serious, but that, I guess that'd be my advice. You know, like, kind, kind of like hone it in. Yeah. Good. Well, there's a lot of people that told, I'm pretty sure all of us, that we couldn't do this. So, I mean, to some level. Don't let yourself. the haters get you down. Yeah, <laughs> just, just be real. Just, yeah, just believe in yourself. What about Jake Blue on Facebook? He said, <laughs> why do each of the guitarists use different branded guitars? and what attracts them to those brands, and what amps do they use? Yeah. Okay, so this, question, three, right? this is a technical okay. question. That's so the first man. question is a bit perplexing for me. Uh, why do we use different brands? I mean, because we like them. So the individual? Uh, yeah, yeah it's individual just preference. Types. Yeah, it's yeah. like preference and stuff like that. I mean, I, I'm always like changing with me. I'm always like buying new shit, bringing new stuff in. But recently I found myself playing a Kemper. It's a profiling amp. It's one of those like new age digital things. And, I get a lot of I get a lot of instrument from like like old school guys. And stuff, <laughs> I think it's really cool. A lot, a lot of like a lot of bands who toured have used them and they've they've sold me on them. So I, I play it through a Kemper for yep. my amp and I I play a Collins uh, two ninety. It's like a double cut Les Paul Junior style, but Gorgeous. it's it's like this boutique company out of Austin, wow. Texas. So. I just recently bought an Ernie Ball um, Sterling and Stingray uh, bass guitar, so I uh, kind of made the switch. And uh, it's been cool. I really like it. I, I've been playing Fender for a long time, and I love Fender. Yeah, Fender's my backup. I like Fender too. Ben, a lot. Fender is yeah. our boy, but uh, Ernie Ball, I kind of just wanted to try something new. And that, yeah, that's what it was for me. And, so uh, is this like photography going from a Canon to a Nikon, Nikon or something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, sure. like, yeah, yeah, probably. You're like, Fuck Sometimes it. you want to just like experiment. Yeah, yeah, thing has their own properties. That yeah, a lot of us are gearheads, so we kind of just change up our, our rig all the time to keep it fresh. And this, this girl actually requested for you guys to try and read her name um, and pronounce her name. So do you want to read this one? It's that top one. The first bit is the name. Aroha Jane Matangi. There you go. There you go. I think that's actually pretty good. She says, can you please ask them to do an acoustic set and have some one-on-one -on -one time with us? I saw them do it with AP. And I think it was, um, uh, I think it was rather, the, uh, rather amazing. Uh, also, their new album is amazing, and thank you for everything that you've done. I would love to do some, yeah. some more acoustic stuff. Yeah. It's really fun. We also did we did a Q and A type thing in uh, in uh, London. Yeah, yeah was and it was fun. actually really fun. Uh, was it Rock? Yeah. Rock I don't know. Uh, some publication brought like a, like a handful of transfer room and like asked them. I mean, I don't remember. Fuck it. <laughs> but, it was, it was, it was really fun really cool. and we liked it and that's yeah, the point. It was fun and we loved it. And we loved it. So there's a guy named uh, Matt Rockets. He says, um, ask the boys when they will do another music video. Oh, you know, we got something in the works. Yeah, it's right supposed now. to be soon. Yeah? We're definitely doing another one for uh, can you Can you drop the song or is that going to be a. Uh, I'm not sure you can drop the song. <laughs> Love you. Not a secret. Really. Uh, Twitter, we had 
This chick actually said she sang secrets with you guys at the Atlanta show. At Rockin underscore Mag. She said, what is the coolest thing a fan has done for you? Honestly, not sexually, let's not go that down that hole. That part. Pretty sure a quarter of a year in. Yeah, this guy. Honestly, I think uh, some of the cooler things people do are just like make little thoughtful gifts. Like, yeah. Draw for us or something. Like not necessarily like getting us something, but like making like us something that's very thoughtful. Like, what about like that the, reflects, you know, us. What, what are the cool things I can think of? There's this girl, Tati, she's made a song for us. Christmas ornaments. Yeah, she's yeah. 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 It was a thoroughly fucked up thing to look at and see. Yeah. <laughs> it was just scared. I'm not scared I've ever been in my entire life. Yeah. What did you guys do before walking out on stage? Did you like do a little huddle and just be like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Do you want to tell us or should I? I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you just all piss yourself and walk out? He kept going to sleep right before he I was played. taking a nap. What? Honestly. He would take naps. I was like, oh, coolest cucumber over here. I had to like, wind myself down. No, I was just like, right. oh, okay. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, he was, I was out that, like, by stage an hour before. He was like, kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, God. It's just he's a drum pad. Exactly, yeah. At Dom Likes Bacon. Um, so, so do I, I yeah. Dad. So do I. So yeah. <laughs> What's it like touring with with confidence? I mean, well, it's only been three, three, three days. days so they're great guys. Yeah, yeah they're, they're awesome. sweet guys. Yeah. Super nice. I mean, they gave us their green room to do this interview in. So. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Sweet that guys. kind of speaks volumes about a band. Young, young hot Australian days. band on the move. That's what I think about that. Okay, I don't, I don't know about this Twitter handle, but it's at Five Sauce Janoskians. Um, right. Twitter handle. Uh, if you could do anything, oh, good question. If you could do anything without worrying about getting in trouble, what would you do? Probably like rob a bank because you can just get super paid and you won't get in trouble and you're set for life. And then you kind of just chill for the rest of I mean, your life. Dude, they got gold do bars nice, and shit, dude. Yeah, you just do a nice bank transfer, you know, for a few mils. Give, give me a couple I would, mil. I would probably steal an exotic car, you know, one of those like a Lamborghini or something. Yeah, and pull yeah. a Grand Theft Auto, like steal yeah. it and then Not drive it like off the cliff. So just, yeah. <laughs> well, but you jump out first, right? Yeah. Or would you just be like, no, well, I'm doing it? If you asked me what I would do if I could resurrect, then yeah. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> said without getting in trouble. So like, I'm thinking, Is death like, trouble? I don't know if death is like physical the trouble. <laughs> physical trouble as well. All right. At Patricia on fire underscore says, when will I ever see Derek without a cap? But, uh, he, 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 he actually wore played. one last or two he, minutes he ago. Didn't he didn't wear one. He didn't wear one for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Four right. minutes ago. Yeah, he went out on stage with no for hat. For one song. Was everyone just like, oh my god. No he one, said, no he, he made an announcement <laughs> before we played. He's like, I'm not going to wear a hat today. I'm having a good hair day. And he's like, but I'm going to bring the hat just in case. Yeah, yeah. And he put the hat on. We put it on later, yeah. yeah. So people are hat guys. I'm a hat guy. I'm not a hat guy. Nothing can fit my head. Yeah, my head's big hat. To be honest, I didn't even realize it until she brought it up, and then I was like looking yeah, through yeah, photos yeah. and was like, "Well, hang on a minute, I don't think I've ever seen." Yeah, it's just a hat guy. Yeah. Okay, so at uh, Lost in Jamie Land, if you could collab with any band or artist, who would it be with and why? Kanye West, probably oh. for, for me, at least. Don't laugh at that. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> she like, laughed like, at that. She like, 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 I've always thought it'd be cool to do some sort of like electronic thing so somebody like playing fucking Skrillex or like Diplo. Oh or wow. Just something weird and like
Busy. She was doing like a signing and I was in eighth grade. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you actually went and spoke oh, to a person to person oh, yeah. and said, will you go with... Oh, well, I mean, oh, that I, don't, I don't blame her for saying no. Yeah. I was, like, very weak in fucking Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Instagram again, at Izzy underscore Routledge. Um, favorite Australian tour memory and your your best experience in Australia. I guess you've kind of... Oh, and she also says you guys robbed at the True Food last night. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Uh, um, there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a lot of you, I guess five sauce you kind of summed that up. Yeah, but uh, I mean, maybe off stage memories, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm thinking of a, of a New Zealand one, but I know they're different countries. Yeah, yeah that's I right. Don't so please don't tell us that. No, I mean, no, say that. Well, you guys are like fucking aggressive, yeah. very anti Kiwi. <laughs> yeah, certainly are. It doesn't make sense to me because New Zealand's cool, and so are you. So yeah. So no, no, we, all, we honestly don't care. Yeah. Say, say what it is, and we'll, we'll just No, I'm later. afraid. I'm gonna get all <laughs> get all this hate. The, the internet's gonna yell at me. They're like, fucking kiwi loving motherfucker. And one of my favorite Shoot memories shaga. here is uh, I actually got tattooed in Melbourne. Uh, I got Matt West from Night Deep Space on my leg, so that was really? really great. Yeah, do you want to see it? Yes, please. Yeah. Check it out, dude. <laughs> this is one guy, um, Josh Vickers on Facebook. He said, Have you. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys are going to find this funny, I found it funny. Have you ever thought about going national, uh, going into the nationals, or are you happy being a big fish in a small pond? I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh, it's it's a stage champs oh, joke. Stage champs joke. Okay, I was like, we're international right now. No, have you ever thought about entering into the nationals, or are you happy being a big fish in a small pond? The nationals are already a pretty big band, I think they got it covered. You know what's funny though, I used to be in a band called Good Luck Varsity, and then I think I graduated to state champs, so like, I might, You're the I, I, might be, I might go to the national <laughs> event, and then is then there, worlds. yeah, is there a band oh, called like the World Series or something? Oh, state champs jokes, just, stop, quit, stop, it. Cut it stop out. it, Josh Vickers, whoever you are, <laughs> shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for answering the uh, fan yeah. Q&A. Thank you. Welcome hey. back to Yo Australia, Henry's. and I hope you enjoyed the yes. onion and this beer. Yeah, oh, great. Yeah. Yep, just go. <laughs> just keep. <laughs> you're, you're the you're the beer mule. Thank you very much, State Champs. I appreciate yeah. it. I hope you had the best time. Yeah. Um, and that's been another episode of Beers with the Band. If you enjoyed it, please hit subscribe and uh, like on Facebook and yeah. Instagram. Woo. You guys yeah. are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. I cannot yeah. wait to see you guys live. Yeah, 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 it's gonna be good. It's gonna be split. Let's take chance. Hot Swedish bad ladies sometimes. Bad ladies, I'm sorry. Um, one, one more time. This um, you are on a whole other level. Holy shit. Um, Stop it. Josh Vickers, whoever you are, shut the fuck up. No, no, he's actually, he's a no, fun no, one. No, he's a fun one.